Hey, Tim Schatz here for C4D Training. Today I have a little tutorial for you on using sound with your Cinema 4D scenes. Let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so I'm going to just go ahead and create a quick little animation here. Create a cube. And I'm going to go ahead and keyframe that. And then I'll come down to 90 frames. Bring this puppy past us. And we'll go ahead and keyframe that. So now we have our little animation. And so if I rewind this, there we go, boom. Really fancy. So let's say this is your scene, it's something really fancy, you want to have music, and you want that music to render off with the file, as opposed to having to render this off and then try to add the sound in After Effects and make sure that everything is synced up. So the way that we're going to do this is we're going to come up here and we're going to grab a null, and please note nulls have changed locations. They're now here with all of your primitives. And then we're going to go up here to Window, and we're going to open the Timeline, and we're going to drag that null into the timeline. Okay, So now if I click on the null and I come up to File, I can say Add Special Track and come over to Sound. So I now have a sound track associated with this null. And over here in my Attribute Manager, I actually have the option to add a sound right here. So if I go ahead and click on that and select my file. Remember, sound files need to be a specific format in order to work in Cinema 4D. So this one has been set up the proper way, so I'm going to go ahead and select that, hit open, and if I just go ahead and hit play, my sound plays. Make sure if you want to hear your sound that you turn on your little speaker icon here. Okay, And so now if I go ahead and minimize my timeline and I rewind this and play, Okay, so my sound plays along. If I turn off my speaker icon, I don't get any sound. So make sure if you do this and your sound is set up the proper way and you don't hear it, make sure your speaker icon is on. Okay, that's all well and good, but this is still not going to render off until I do one last thing. So I've got to come up here to my render settings and under my save tab, I need to make sure that the include sound checkbox is checked. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to render this off and I'll just call this sound test. Save. And now I'm going to go ahead and render this off. So I'm just saying render to picture viewer. There it goes. Alright, so now my render has finished and I can go ahead and rewind this and play this in my picture viewer. Yeah. Make sure that your little speaker icon is on here, because otherwise you won't hear the sound again. So rewind, make sure your speaker icon is on, and you play. And I know some of you out there are saying, I don't believe you, that's just because it's in Cinema 4D and the sound is playing. How do I know for sure that it's in the QuickTime movie? Okay, you're probably not really saying that, but just to show you, I'm going to go ahead and, and bring up the QuickTime. Alright, so here's our QuickTime, and go ahead and play that. There you go, with the sound. Okay, so just to go over it one more time, I'm going to add the null, then we're going to open our timeline window, and we drag our null into our timeline. With our null selected in the timeline, we go to File, Add Special Track, soundtrack and once we do that we have the option here in the attributes manager to add our sound and once we do that and we set our render settings to include the sound it'll render off with our file hope you found this helpful thanks for watching i'm tim schetz c4d training take care